I swear. Baba, the code no correct. Yeah, yeah, um, yes, yes. It, it's the wrong address. Where are you? Where did be this address? Oh, uh, um, number, number ten, number ten, Adilabu. Damn it! Shit! What kind of, what kind of mistake you make now? You, why you worry you now? You know, you know the risk will take home here. Baba, you can't achieve one. Let's go. Someone ball out. Yes, Baba. But not so fast now, so it's in my front now, you know this here. Um no 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 um please don't 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 wait now out I don't see see I see look 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 at the first now because when the guy me come here and I know I won't do so I know I achieve my aim now so calm down Baba leave this one out the go now Baba You know the system I go I go I go lose body lose money they, 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 where you they went where you stand up I come to come and stand up! Hey, 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 where are you? Stay, stay. Please, please, please. Please for waiting. I beg for what? Don't do this. Don't do what? Beg for waiting, they beg. Come on, stand up! What's my wife? 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 No, no, please. Color man, I swear I'm more traumatized than she is. Just need to take it easy. Ah, take it easy. It won't be easy letting go of this whole thing. Such a horrible sight watching a, another man molest my wife. Right in my presence and I couldn't do anything about it. No. Take it easy. Just take it easy. You. It was wise of you to have cooperated. And the guy was lusting after your wife. He could have done anything. And the guy was such a dog, a wild dog. Take it easy. Take it easy on yourself. I'm so sorry about this, man. I'm really sorry. Now, how's Lucy? And she's trying to heal. I can't get myself to look her in the face. I feel like a handicapped fool. so feverish. I think I need to go and see a doctor because I'm not feeling good at all.
You know we can't keep it right. Excuse me? Excuse you. Like you want to keep it. I'm not having an abortion. Hey, but that's the right thing to do. No, it's not. I will not and I refuse to. Wait, are, are, you, are you kidding me right now? You want to have a child, a bastard child. It's not a bastard because you're going to father the child. Hell no. There's no way I'm going to father a child that... Lucy. 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 I am not having an abortion, Chuka, and that's final. Well, if you've made up your mind and you want to have that child, you won't have it in my house. You have to have it in your father's house. Because there's no way I'm raising a bastard child. Chuka, you are mad. Chuka, you are actually very, very crazy. Did I get raped in my father's house? Did I? Of course not. Because my father is not a coward and a weakling like you. Lucy. Look, Lucy. For Christ's sake, Chuka. I got raped right in your presence. Yes. What exactly did you do? Tell me. You laid on the floor, shaking like a child. I mean, you couldn't even raise your hand to your own fellow man. You watched them do this to me, and now you're telling me what? You want me to get an abortion? I should risk my life? Hell no. Lucy has really gone insane. You know, at first I thought it was just a trauma, but now it's over a week and she's still not talking to me. You shouldn't have threatened her with the pregnancy. I mean, you threatened to divorce her because of the pregnancy. Why did you do that? Why did you do that? Yeah. Maybe you can talk to Lucy. Woman to woman, she just might listen to you and see reason with her husband. Yeah. I'll try. Thank you. Look, I really love my wife. But I can't just understand why it is that she won't listen to me. I just pray she listens to her. Whatever it is, just be strong. Okay, why not explain to the mom? Talk to her, just tell her things. She might, you know, understand. No, I can't do that. I mean, what am I supposed to tell her? That my wife got raped by Androbats in my presence and I couldn't do anything about it and now I'm telling her to what the child? Yeah. What's the sad thing? What's that? What's the sad thing? Don't worry, I'll talk to her, okay? Don't say it. It's just it's I'm losing my mind. It's okay, it's okay. Don't worry. It's okay. Your husband wants you to terminate this pregnancy. I mean, you wouldn't want anything to happen to your marriage, would you? Is this why you came here? Um, actually, he requested I come talk to you. Okay, and you decided to carry your two left leg here, Madam Advisor. Lucy. Ada. Yes. Okay, let me ask you a question. I'm listening. Have you ever been raped? Um, I, I, I actually wanted to say yes. I have never been through this before and I know you will Ada. like... Go and tell him I said no. We are having this child in this house as a couple. I didn't get raped in the streets. I got raped in his house. And you can't divorce me. No. You know why? Because I refuse to be a single mother. 
when he could have defended me. Are you sure you really want to do this? Is there a reason I shouldn't be? What's that smell? I'm talking to you. What is that oh, smell? Please, just... What is this? Chuka. Have you showered today? Are you okay? I think you should go and bath. You're smelling. Look, Lucy, just leave me alone. Please, go and bath. You're smelling. I'm talking to you. Oh, I've already had my bath. Then maybe go and bath again because you are stinking up the room. I maybe didn't bath well the first time. Go and bath again. Lucy, is either you leave me alone or I leave this room for you? Which one do you prefer? Okay, fine. Leave the room for me because I cannot lie down in the same bed with you. You are smelling. Uh, Shabby, you want to leave? You be smelling like that and you expect to sleep. So you expect me to sleep. How many times have I warned you not to step into this house at this time of the night? Okay, I know what you're about to do and don't think I'm ready for this. I have told you before, but I am telling you again, your insecurities need to be checked. Don't do that, don't do that. Don't, don't you dare do that. Don't, 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 don't you trick me. You go out in the morning and you're coming back at this time of the night? Really? I left by 1 p.m. and I remember telling you I was going out. Did I give my consent? You said okay. Okay, what? You just said okay. If not, you would have known that I didn't want you to go anywhere. Okay. I don't think I need to do this with you. You're not walking out of me. Ada! Excuse Ada! me. Ada! Ada! Ada!
I don't even know how far gone she is. What if that stuff affects her? Oh my god. Why didn't I think about this when I was doing it? I have to go and get the thing out of the fridge now. already taking it. Oh, that means I have to be here to monitor her so she does not get stranded when she miscarries. Oh, um, you came back? Yeah. What's that look on your face? You now drink cold water. I thought pregnant women don't drink cold water. Oh, um, I do, but not often. But I, I didn't drink today, though. You didn't drink today, then? Who drank this one? I mean, I'm very sure it was cold the time I left, and it was the only water in the fridge. Your friend's fiancé. Ada? Yeah. She was here not too long ago. She just left. Oh, my God. What is it? She drank all the water. Everything to this point. Yeah, she likes to drink water a lot. Hello guy, what's up? Where are you? Uh, where? Fine, 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 fine. Um, can you head home right now? Uh, guy, I will explain it. I can't talk on the phone right now. But can you please just head home? I promise you, it's important. Alright, alright. I'll, I'll, I'll see you there. serious than I thought. Ada? No, no, I'm really sorry. Hey, I'm really sorry, but we need to take her to the hospital right now. Ada? Please, please help me, help me. I'm just, I don't, I don't know what I'm... Ada? Just get her. Okay, okay, okay. What, what? Just help me from my hands, from my hands, please. From my hands. Yeah. Sorry, babe. It's okay. How you feeling? Huh? You good? <coughs> it's okay. Man, let me just take her inside, okay? Alright, I'll be right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, babe. It's okay. <sighs> Look, man, I'm really sorry about this, I swear. No, it's fine. Just thank God she's fine. No, yeah, but why would you do that? Why would you go that length? Oh, come on, you won't understand, honestly. Bro, do you know how hurt I feel every day watching my wife's belly grow? You have to let it go, man. Just, just some, you know, maybe it's God's will for you, you know? Oh, no, please don't bring God into this. 
God will not arrange for Andromas to come into my house and rape my wife and get her pregnant. So sorry, man. I don't even know what to say. It's just crazy, man. I'm really sorry. Huh? You know what? I'll just leave you. Right? I've had a long day today. All right. All right, man. Talk tomorrow, man. Talk tomorrow. Yeah. Hi. Hello. Hello. I can hear you, sir. It's um, Ada, Kola's girlfriend. Oh, Ada, how are you doing? Yes, doctor. Yes, sir. Um, please, I, I need to see you. It's, it's urgent. No, 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 no. It, Everything is fine. I just, it's, it's a personal, yes, sir, it's personal. And I don't want Kola to know because it's a private. Um, okay. Um, when do you want that? Discussion. Yes, sir. When? Okay, that will be fine. Tomorrow is fine. Tomorrow. Okay. It's okay. Tomorrow is okay. Okay, sir. Um, please. Please. I I really do not want him to know about this. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Please, sir, can I have the address? Okay. Thank you very much, sir. Yes. Sir. Have a nice day. Okay, bye. Bye. Hada. Who's Mr. H? My boss. So why did you abbreviate his name? Because that's his name, Mr. H, Mr. Hansen. Mr. H. Yeah. Is that a pet name or something? Mr. H, Mr. Hansen, it's the same thing. No, it's not the same thing. One is official, the other one is romantic. Why can't you just call him his, his full name, Mr. Mr. Hansen? I don't think I can do this with you. That is his name, Mr. H, Mr. Hansen. I'm not changing the name. Oh, you will. This is my phone. You don't tell me what to do with my phone. I am not changing it. Yes, really. Why are you even going through my messages? Please. Ada. Are you ready for work already? Yeah. Um, babe. So I've been feeling really lazy and tired. I was wondering if you could help out with the house chores, you know, maybe before you leave for work. I can't. Baby. You see, I said I can't. And I won't. So don't disturb me with this again. Babe. You think you can frustrate me to get rid of this baby? But you're a joker. <sighs> Hello, Mom. Good morning, Mom. 
I'm fine, how are you? Uh, yes, mom. The baby is very well. Um, mom, so I wanted to ask you if, um, Sheila could come over to assist me because I've been feeling really, really tired. And I do not want to get a house help. Thank you so much. How is dad? Okay, I'll call you soon, okay? All right, mom. Bye. I'm confused about this address, so. Where are you exactly? Yes, sir. I'm seeing something, Holmes. Oh, you're close. Okay, you know what? Um, just keep walking down the street. I will meet you up before you get to the end of the street. Hmm? Yes. Okay, okay. 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 Okay, I'm coming now. Okay, sir. Okay. Ah, babe, I have to go downstairs. Babe, where are you off to? I need to go out to get somebody from the gate. You have a guest? Um, a patient, actually. I came here to spend some time with you. And you're leaving me to be with a patient? Oh, come on, now. Tasha, we're not doing this. She won't be long, okay? I won't do this. Tasha. You are going to pay for this time wasted. Tasha, come Excuse on. Excuse me. Are you serious, right? Tasha!
Nobody hurts. Please, can you get me some fruits in the kitchen? Yeah, sure. Thank you. <sighs> Calling you. Calling me for what? I don't know. Maybe it's because of the baby. I think it wants to come out. So am I the doctor that will help bring the baby out? No, Please but... don't disturb me. Congratulations, man. Where is the baby's nose in there? I need to clean it up. I'm maintaining my room. Okay. Sheila, yes. um, just can you take the bags to my room? Thank you. Man, I was honestly going to send her away when she comes with that child. I didn't know she had already involved my mom in this whole thing. Bro, you need to calm down. I mean, you never can tell now that the child is born, it just might be the luck you need. And boom, you have your own. Man, Lucy should have just listened to me. I mean, we all know that every rape victim undergoes medical examination and gets treated for possible diseases and checks for unwanted pregnancies. Do you know that? Yeah, you know, but we couldn't. You know, we couldn't because of the trauma that comes with the whole thing. Oh. Lucy didn't want many years to hear about it and she wasn't ready for therapy as well. Yeah, I remember. We just need to man up and let it go. You'll have yours, and the pain you're suffering now will end. Speaking of pain ending, how is it going to happen? When having that bastard child in the house is going to remind her of the whole trauma. And having that child was such a bad idea. Yeah, it is well. As well. As well. Our is, eh? your is so sweet. Ada. Yeah. It's time to go. is waiting for you. Okay, I I'll join him soon. Chuga. Can't you see this fine boy? He looks so much like you. Yeah, yes, my wife. I see it. Chuga. In fact, look at his mouth and nose, just like his father. This one now, my papa born me. <laughs> In fact, if he has his father's milestone, then 
Lucy, you have less to worry about night vigils. Really? <laughs> yes. When Chuka was a baby, after nursing, he sleep. In fact, he was a very gentle and calm baby. In fact, I remember So this was your plan all along. You were looking for a place to hide so you could drink yourself to stupor, huh? <laughs> Smart. Drink away my sorrows, actually. You need to take things easy, man. Well, you know, Lucy is actually crazy. Yeah? Trying to impose the fatherhood of a child from an armed robber, a bloody armed robber, on me. What, what, if, what if that child becomes a blessing to you in the future? Yeah. That child is a cause. He has stolen away the peace from my house. Since conception, he has. Mm -mm. That's an innocent child. Uh, I, want, I want to ask you a question. If you no, please, no, please. I don't want any of your silly questions. No, no, no. It's serious. I'm mm. serious. I'm serious. Okay. What is it? Ask. Okay. If... And this is a big if, you know, you couldn't have children of your own. What would you have done? You've exhausted, you know, options. But what would you have done? That's easy. Adopt. I mean, is that not what all barren couples do? Adopt. Yeah. So why can't you adopt? If you're willing to adopt a child because you couldn't have your own, why can't you see this child as one that you can adopt anyway? It's not the child's fault. Think about it. Why don't you treat this child as an adopted child? Love him, care for him. You know. Think about it. Um, doctor, I, I came to see you actually because I saw the way you helped my friend and I know that you, you're a specialist. I know you're going to help me. That's why I came here. <laughs> I do what I have to do, and um, the rest is left for God to perfect it. <laughs> yes, I know, but you will help, and God will make the perfection. All right. What exactly do you want me to do for you? I mean, what is the problem? Um, actually, I, I, I had um had series of abortion in the past. Wow. And I know that is what is affecting me. I'm unable to take in because I had some complications at that time. When did this happen? I mean, how long ago? No problem. No problem. No deal. No problem. No problem. I 
I say when I get with you, if you say for me, wait you come up again. Which kind of question that one? Yeah, exactly. That one for you. I know say you know the one, but I know say this kind of thing. If you mix some, I hear say if you mix some, you get more than the mix. I beg, I beg. I know say the amount I go pay, I go pay, I beg. Where is the soap? I don't do. I swear, not in the soap. What's in the soap? You sure? Yes, I beg. Thank you. Don't look here at all, Kelly. Everything how much? Two thousand. Not the two thousand naira. Who for you? No worry. Yes, thank you. No worry. No worry. Let me say anything. No get problem. No worry. Thank you. Don't come back. Eh. So I was rushed to the hospital because I had some complications as at that time. And I knew that's the major reason I cannot take in. I can't even conceive at all. When does this happen? I mean, how long ago? It's like five years now. <sighs> I will need to take you to the lab and uh, run some tests and do some medical examinations on you. Then we'll take it up from there. Okay, are you saying I will do some scans? That will be inclusive. And let me get my pen and paper so I'll write some tests for you to do as at a hospital okay. before we see you tomorrow. Okay. Hmm? Excuse me. Are you serious now? Um, can I call you back, please? Okay, I'll call you right back. Oh, good day, ma'am. Good day, my dear. How are you? Thank you, please. Um, my daughter, thank you for offering to stay and take care of Lucy. Mm -hmm. Thank you, mommy. Thank you. Well, it's nothing if I were in her shoes, she would have done the same thing for me, so. <laughs> I love the bond you two share. You are like co-wives, just as your husbands are like brothers. Thank you, mommy. <laughs> thank you very much, mommy. You're welcome, my dear. Um... Ada, Ma? there is something I'm noticing between the couple. I, like what, ma? Hmm. My son Chuka and his wife are not excited about their newborn. Young couple who just had their first child are usually excited, I mean, happy. But in their case, all I see on their faces is bitterness and anger. I don't think so, ma. Uh, maybe because it's stress. Yes. You know, Lucy went through a lot. She was in labor for three days. Three good days, ma. <laughs> Mom, it's not easy now. And Chuka was at home all along. 
I don't know about that. I don't know. Mm. Yes, ma'am. It's okay. I felt maybe I should talk to you first. Mm, because I thought maybe you know what the problem is. No, I, I, I don't think there's a problem, ma'am. Mm. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Eh? Thank you. Ma Thank you. Yes, ma All right. Um, let me go back inside. Okay, okay. Chuka. Yes, ma'am. What is going on between you and your wife? Nothing. Chuka. Chuka. Your wife just gave you a bouncing baby boy. A boy that is so healthy and strong that looks so much like you. Instead of taking care of the baby and the mother, all I see on your face is resentment. Mom, I'm not being resentful. There's no resentment here. So how do you explain this attitude of yours towards the baby and the mother? Mom, okay. Fine. I'm broke. Alright, I don't have money. And you, you know how I am when I don't have money and things don't go my way. I, it drives me crazy. And that also explains why you were not at the hospital for three days. That Lucy was in labor for your own baby. Hey, Chuka, I don't care what the problem is. I want you to settle with her and make things right. Have you heard me? Have you heard me? Yes, 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 Mom, I've heard you. Whatever the problem is, you settle it. Hello, Joy. Yes, I just um, came back from the doctor's place and I had a very long conversation with him. Call us doctor now. Yes. Well, he said I should um, go and do a scan. I'm, I'm just worried. I'm, I'm just worried. What if it turns out negative? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just, it's, it's only natural that I, I should be scared. It's easier said than done. Babe, I am really worried. I don't want to lose color. I don't want to lose this man. I don't want to. He is a good man. Not really. It's just that I, I, I just regret doing that abortion and I shouldn't have done it and because of love. I was just blinded but yeah. Like I said, Kola is a good man. I don't want to lose him, not for anything, not even because of me. It's okay. My only worry now is I just pray the doctor don't open up like even if it turns out positive, he shouldn't even say it. Because I told him it's confidential. You know what I mean, right? But this is going to be our family doctor eventually. If anything happens, if we eventually get married, he will be our doctor. I know. I know. How about you? How are you? You're not sounding good. Oh, 
I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'm, I'm, I'm just worried. Thank you so much. You've always been there for me. Thank you. <laughs> no, I'm fine. I'll, I'll be fine. Where are you? Missing you? It's barely two hours I left the house. Yeah, I know, but I love you and I uh, don't want to be away from you for too long. I know. Where are you? I'm in Chuka's house, of course. Why is everywhere quiet? The place is quiet. Why? Because I am in the kitchen. I'm doing the dishes. Mm. Are you sure? I am sure, yes. Oh, I was just, just asking, who's there with you? I was with Sheila, but she's in her room right now. I'm, I'm done, I was actually just cleaning up. I'll give her the phone, I won't talk to her. I should give Sheila the phone. She just left the kitchen now. No, I just want, okay, give Lucy, okay, give Lucy the phone, let me talk to Lucy. I should go and give the phone to Lucy. She's in her room and she should be sleeping now. Do you know what the time is? Hey, how far is the kitchen from the bedroom? I don't understand. I'm not doing this with you, please. Why are you doing this? I, I just... Hello? Hello? Are you happy? Will he be sleeping here? Yes. He can't. And he shouldn't. Why? Well, oh, because I can't sleep on the same bed with a newborn. But the baby's not inconveniencing you in any way. He is. Like I said, I can't sleep on the same bed with a newborn. Send him to my mom. He should sleep there. Look, you heard me saying that the nursery was going to be in this room. Besides, you haven't slept in this room in over seven months. Why the sudden interest to sleep here? Because I'm trying so hard to maintain my sanity. Alright? My mom is already figuring it out that something is not right. I don't want her to find out this way. Okay, fine. You know that there's really no point in being secretive about all of this. You know that. Okay, you don't want anything to do with the child. I don't care about that. And I really don't care about what your mom thinks. Just stay away from my child, please. about all of this you know that okay you don't want anything to do with the child i don't care about that and i really don't care about what your mom thinks
Yeah, hold on, please. Kola, you actually came here to find out if I actually slept here. Is that why you're here? Why did you switch off your phone? You came here to find out at this time of the day why I turned off my phone last night. I'm heading out of town for a very important meeting. Our director wants me to sort out some accounting problems in our branch in the valley. Okay, so... You called Lucy last night. What was the reason for the call? Come on. You need to stop. You know how much I love you. I swear I almost killed that baby last night. You're joking. No, I'm not. Look, the presence of that baby traumatizes me. Already I can't breathe without the, the whole trauma of the whole event and, and then now I get to live with the result. You need a therapist. No, bro, I don't. I don't need a therapist. All I need is to get rid of that baby. You can't kill a child. It's a sin to kill before God and man. How much more an infant, a child? Come on now, bro. Abba. Yes. Yeah. This is the only one I saw in the fridge. I did not see the other one you asked me to bring. It's right, thank you. What is it? You're still my wife and this is still my house. Okay, um, and you only act like this when you have something to say, so what is it? You see, let's give that baby up for adoption. <laughs> Chuka, are you crazy? What is wrong with you? I should give out a child that I carried for nine months for adoption. Wait, how in God's name are you comfortable with this whole situation? No, explain it to me. Considering the situation that led to the conception and birth of this child, I mean, how? You know what? I'm beginning to think this whole thing was all your arrangement. You got a man to come here and impregnate you, then you disguise the whole thing as rape. Chuka! Yes! That's all I'm left to think about because how? How are you comfortable with the whole situation that led to his birth? Chuka, you need to stop. I get that you're going crazy, but you really, you really need to stop it. No, I'm not stopping because you have to explain. Explain to me how you're happy. You're happy nursing this child while I'm the one going through the hurt and the pain. Because you I carried this child for nine months. I found him and I gave birth to him, okay? I refuse to transfer the wickedness of men to an innocent child, including yours! So yes, I am going to raise this child and I'm going to keep him. Wow. Certainly not in my house. Because I'm going to divorce you, Lucy. And I'm serious.
Come and eat. I'm not hungry. You haven't eaten anything since morning. I don't have appetite. I brought this food and I don't expect you to reject it. No, I said I don't have appetite for food. You have to come and eat. You will eat it and I will stand here watch you while you eat. Oh God, Mom. I'm not longer that child you used to force to eat now. Oh. <laughs> oh, you still remember those days, right? Don't underestimate me. I'm still that strong woman. <laughs> mm? <laughs> Come on, son. Mm? Lucy, you have been holding this baby in your arms since morning, laying down, and you to rest. Eh? Oh, don't worry, I'm fine. I mean, I just want to cuddle him. Lucy, you look so stressed already. Bring the baby, let me. No, no, no man, I'm fine. I'm fine. Just. Lucy. Hey. <laughs> Chuka. Chuka. Your wife is having a postpartum depression. She needs you now more than ever. Every time I try to get close to her, she pushes me away. What's the problem? Why is she acting like that towards you? Look, I don't know. Okay, mom, I don't know. I, if I try to talk to her, she does not say anything, so I just let her be. But that's not the right thing to do. You need to talk to her and know what the problem is. Look, mom. Lucy is a strong girl. Very strong woman. She's really, really strong. Stronger than you think. And I'm sure whatever it is that is disturbing her, she can handle it. So just, just leave her, okay? She'll be fine. Hmm. What is him? Why him? What are the two of you hiding from me? Nothing. Did she cheat on you? Hey, mom. Come on. Ah. You should know Lucy better than that. She will never cheat on me. I don't understand what is going on. Why are you angry at her? Why are the two of you not flowing? Six years of trying to have a child. Now you have one. The two of you are resentful towards each other for no reason. Chuka, have you forgotten that I'm your mother? Mom, don't, don't, don't disturb yourself. We'll be fine. All right, we'll be fine. That's what I want to hear. But we practice too. Okay, mom. Where are you going to? To so anywhere I can find peace. Peace? Yes. <sighs> what does that even mean? Are, are you moving out? No, not yet. So you're leaving me? Look, Lucy. I, I need to be sure that I am being rational about this whole thing. And I can only be sure if I'm out of this environment. I am depressed. 
All right, I'm very depressed, and you know depression kills, right? Do you want me dead? Okay, um, so where do you expect me to tell your mom you're going to? I'll find something. Walk. What could do? <sighs> do you realize that this child's name is tomorrow? He's your child. You'll figure something out. to call your husband's number. It's not going through. What did the two of you discuss? We didn't discuss anything. He told me we'll be back this evening. That was why I told the pastor to come in the evening. Well, um, um, I, I think we can go ahead with the naming ceremony. He doesn't have to be there. No, 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 no. Not without his permission. Well, he gave a name. A name? Yes, Obina. Obina. Okay. Then we can go ahead, right? Yes. Okay, then. Let's go in there. encourage such evil. What evil? This man sitting right in front of me is having his baby dedication this minute. Hey, what are of, you doing here? Point of correction. That is not my baby. No, hey, Chuk, 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 Chuk. We have spoken about this now. We, we talked about this. Oh What's yeah, we did. You? But then it's my life. I, it's what I want, not what you want. Oh. Yeah. I should have known. When you want to get mischievous, you just get yourself drunk. That's what it is. I'm not drunk. No, you are. You are obviously drunk. You know what, Chuka? I am disappointed in you. Oh, oh. <laughs> you know you go tell that to your friend who chose to carry the seed of a bloody hand robber. Oh. You and Lucy need to see a therapist. This, uh, this is uh, this has gotten out of hand. Uh, uh, you know. Come on now. Come back with this. Kenny, I'm still here. I want to see to the end of this movie. you but your phone was switched off yeah mom i switched it off okay i did why did you do that because clearly i didn't want to be around for the child's naming you're drunk shut up you two claim that all is well but even a blind man knows that it's not mom we can relax, okay? We are good. Ask her, right? We're good. We're just crazy lovers, just living life the way we do. We are just exceptional people. Just leave us, okay? We'll be fine. We're good. <laughs> so crazy enough that you chose to miss your own child's naming. 
Okay, mom. All right. Since you guys wanted me to be around for the name, what did you, what, what name did you guys give the child? I mean. Huh? Obin. We named him Obin. Obi what? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Now that is crazy. <laughs> like you guys named him the heart of his father. <laughs> wow, crazy stuff. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know the name I was today. Hmm? Well, I told you. Yeah, but I I don't know. Maybe I didn't hear you well. I'm sorry. You heard. You gave me the permission to go. I told you. I said Lucy asked me to come today. That today is her, her baby's naming. And you said, okay, go. Yeah, maybe I forgot or something. Don't be angry now. Hmm? How was it anyway? It's fine. Hmm. Babe, mm -hmm. I think you need to speak with Chuka. Mm -hmm. You really need to talk to that guy because <laughs> she cried all through today and she almost fainted. Wow. I think I should call Dr. Greg. Who is Dr. Greg? Somebody they need. Uh, sorry once again, okay? Mm -hmm. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. It's me, Kola. Good morning, sir. Yeah, uh, is your uncle around? No, he just stepped out. What about your sister? She's inside. You get off of me. Okay. No, come I'm glad to let you know that you can still get pregnant and have children. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you so much, Doctor. Thank you. You're welcome. So, so I have no fears about my fertility and the status of my womb. Mm -mm. So oh. I can go ahead and accept the proposal of my fiance. Yes. But make sure you take the supplement as prescribed by me. I will not miss it for anything. Okay. Thank you so much, Doctor. Mm. You're welcome. Sorry, I didn't want to say this in front of your boyfriend. That's why I had to bring it out. It's fine. That's why I wanted to Guess what? What? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? The doctor said that I can put to bed. Are you serious? Yes. No. Are you serious? Yes. Oh, babe, I'm so happy for you. Thank you. See, the reason I've been telling you to calm down, that God will perfect everything. You are such a pillar. Goodness. <laughs> So oh. how about you? How are you? I'm fine. I think that I'm not fighting again. No, I'm not fighting. Are you sure? Oh, are sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Yeah, we're not fighting. We're not fighting. We're good. It's okay. It's okay. We're good. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> so what do you mean? Thank <laughs> you. 
soon. Hey, Ada, what's up? I'm good. Hi. Hi. Um, please sit. Hi. Yeah, wow. So, Afwana, where's my friend? He said he was coming to your house. Really? Yes. Really. How long ago was that? About an hour ago. Oh. Um, I'll just sit and wait for him. Okay. Thank you so much for coming. This is really, really thoughtful of you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I'll be bringing a doctor, psychologist, and um, in a few days here you can schedule your appointments with him. Um, all right. Uh, but as you can see, your friend is not around. And we're not really on good talking terms, so. I know, I try to talk him into therapy, but he wouldn't listen. So I thought it'd be best to bring a doctor so that he can convince him, you know. Okay, so does that mean you have to come back? Sorry, excuse me. All right. Yeah, what's up? What? Okay, I'm on my way here. Sorry, there's an emergency. I need to. I'll come back tomorrow, okay? Okay, that's fine. That's yeah, fine. sorry, please. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Let's see, let's see. I'll be Bring a woman to my house. I'm relaxing, of course. Listen, if you want to go crazy, that's fine, but you take her to a hotel, not my house. Why? Bro, I deserve to be happy. I want to be happy. The same way Lucy is happily taking care of that her bastard child. Okay, is this some sort of revenge or something? Huh? Look, I thought of something. Bro. What? What? Have you thought of the possibility of me being infertile? Why are you asking me that question? Well, because, yeah. Lucy got laid by a man in one day and she got pregnant. But we've been trying for, what, six years? Okay, so if you're doubting yourself, go get checked by a specialist. But that is no excuse for infidelity. And certainly not my house. No. Why would I waste money going to do a series of tests when I can just go the short route and get the same results? Are you sure about this? Yes. Okay, so what happens if you're right? Oh, well. Hear me. I mean, I don't get to father that bastard child of Lucy's. Bro. You want to be selfish, that's fine. I'm not going to stand in your way. But please, please do not bring it to my house. I will not be party to your irrational decisions. No, you're already a party to it because you're my friend. And you're supposed to be by my side in times like this. That's what friends are for. No, man, you can't just do it. Don't, don't gaslight me. Bring a woman to my house. What, am I supposed to support you? Yes. No. That's what we do. No. That's it. Are you aware that Mr. Chuka is married? Yeah, he says so. Okay, and have you ever thought of getting married? Maybe not now. Maybe anytime soon, like, if I wish to have your own husband. Sure, but why the interrogation? <laughs> well, I'm here for the money. I don't care what he wants. <laughs> okay, you're here for the money? Of course. So how much are you left so I can pay you every single thing you pay? Wow! <laughs> That's so nice of you. <laughs> but I don't mean it that way. I didn't mean it that way. 
Yeah, I want money. But not the type you want to offer. You know, money tastes sweeter to spend when it's coming from me, that's Zadi. You know. <laughs> what if it disappoints you anytime from now? <laughs> That is not happening anytime soon. Yeah. <laughs> the gods. I know you're confident. I'm going to be a baby mama soonest. Yeah. No, I will not take this. I am not taking this. Okay. You need to keep your voice down. All right, stop shouting. I will scream if you do not go out there and tell that man to take that strange woman out of this house. Yeah, but I've spoken to him. Maybe we need to reason with him. What is going on here? I think I need to scream your friends because I will not allow this kind of person to spoil the man I want to get married to. No, you can't associate with such a person. No, I've known Chuka for a while. He's not a bad person. He is a bad person. He's a bad person. He's a terrible person. Okay, so you need to keep your I will not! I won't! Maybe you don't understand what I'm saying. You see you. If this was the other way around, they would say women are bad. It's a man's world, so you can do anything you want to do. This is it, right? That's not what I'm saying. Babe, I repeat, go out there and tell that man to take that strange man out of this house. Okay, I will. Just calm down. Stop screaming. I will go tell him. But, uh... Why are you so confrontational? Ah. Lucy, it's okay. Please, you have to stop crying. Please. Everything will be fine. I don't want to see you like this. Please. I'm begging you. With time, you will be fine. I don't want to see you cry. Lucy, please. Please. stressing my life out. Natasha is stressing my life out. What's the problem again? She gets angry unnecessarily. Well, that's an established fact. Thought there's something new. Are you mocking me? Mock you? For you always complain about this babe, yet you won't let her go. And because I love her, I can't let her go. Then try playing by her rules. What rules? That I should not meet with my patients when they require some confidential meetings with me. You must still be in your house. How confidential is Ali to you? Well, it's your thing. Um, but I think it's not actually professional. I don't do this with every patient. Then why is this one special? Because she's a client's friend. A client's friend. Yes. <laughs> Bro, I'm trying to understand this. Hey, 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 hey. don't even go there. <laughs> okay? Notice it. Uh, let me get something. What would I get for you? Yeah. I'll get you for that. Okay. Yes, come on in. Babe. Jay, Tasha, come on. Come sit there. Thank you. Babe, I just want to say I'm so sorry. I overreacted and I'm so sorry. It's okay. 
But the thing is that you just have to stop bringing in patients to the house. I'm not comfortable with it. Okay, okay, let, let's have it this way. Um, you know I have a dream to run a mini uh, clinic in the house. So if you kick against me having some patients in the house who request confidential meetings here, then how do we run the clinic when it starts? Dream. Are we living in it already? Okay, we'll try to practice it. Okay. Let clinic be clinic and home be home. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> what do you care for? Hmm? Anything. Anything. Yeah. So I'll get you water. Okay. I'll be right back. Ada, how could you? Why shouldn't I? And you had no business poking your nose in Chuka's marital affairs. Then why did he bring it here? I mean, he shouldn't have brought it here in the first place. That guy is my closest friend. And now you've made him lose confidence in me. Kola, a man that has no empathy for his wife is not worth a crying shoulder. Let him take his useless life elsewhere. I don't know. I'm not happy. I just want to let you know I'm not happy with this. Well, I don't care. As long as my conscience is satisfied, I am good. Excuse me. Ada. Ada, you're walking out of me. Ada! Ada! My daughter. What is the problem between you and my son? Please, you can talk to me. You are my daughter as well. Feel free to tell me whatever the problem is. I can cancel you. Um. I wish I could talk to you about it. But my heart is so heavy with pain right now. So heavy that I can't even express myself or talk about it. Lucy, please relax your mind. Please relax your mind and talk to me. I promise I will not take sides, nor judge you, if that's what you are scared of. Where's that lousy wife of yours? Dude, that's my woman you're talking about. Bro, she should come out and she needs to follow me to my house to go quench the fire she started in my wife. You should be grateful I put you back in your senses, so thank me. Ada, are you okay? How can you betray me like that? What? Did you just say betrayal? No, you just said betrayal? You betrayed your wife first and I am a woman like her. I will not take it. Oh, shut up. That's the lies you women tell yourselves in the name of feminism to destroy a, a person's home. Please, that's what you You see? No, 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 don't do that. Go. Ada, one second. You won't hit me. No, let him hit me. Go to the room. Go. Okay. Ada, go to the room. Go in. Dude, what are you doing to my woman? Sit down. Sit. What are you doing? Just... No, no, what are you doing? You want to hit my woman? No, 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 what, what are you doing? Why don't you go tell my wife's stuff? There is no ex. You want to hit her? Huh? I'm just confused. Jeez. How should we start? No, no. Just, no. Lucy. Are you trying to tell me that Obina, my grandson, is not my son's biological child? No. No. It's not true. You people are wrong. I'm sorry, Mom. But that's the sad reality I was trying to avoid. Avoid you coming into. Lucy! You 
can't tell me that that boy, Obina, is not my grandson. When I see anyone carrying my husband's stream, I can't tell. When all I see in him is my husband's features, his legs, even the eyes. Oh. When was your last period? I'm going. I help me tell I that I'm sorry. No, check out, check out, wait, wait. And my friend, my G for life. But I'll tell you the truth, I need therapy. No. Look, I, I know my problem. And it's that child. No, Simple. the child. The child is innocent. I get it, you're mad, you're traumatized. But you still need to see a therapist, and so does Lucy. So, who's this therapist? Will you be willing to see him? If you think you'll be able to help, then yeah. I'll set it up. I'll set it up. I don't need a DNA result for me to know that Obina is my grandson. If Chuka feels otherwise, then fine. Um, Lucy? Yes, Doctor. When was your first car? Um, I don't remember, uh, but I think it was my third third appointment with the doctor. And when was that? Um, like 21st of July. Hmm. Uh, Ma, what makes you feel that this child is your blood? I don't feel. I know so. Hmm. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Chuka, were you both trying that before the conception of this baby? Yes. Um, Lucy? Um, Doctor, we were not trying. Neither were we preventing anything. Hmm. That means there's every possibility that this child could be your blood, Mr. Chuka. How? And uh, what's your baby gestation before birth? Honestly, doctor, I wasn't listening or paying attention to whatever the doctor was saying. Neither was I looking at the results. All I knew is I was going to carry this baby and give birth to it. Well, I will need to see your medical history and every test done that proved you pregnant down to the last scan you had before birth. And uh, if possible, see your doctor for this information, if you don't mind. I demanded that we come to your house because this matter is not what we should sit and discuss in a doctor's office. Yeah, it is best we came back here. Uh, Mrs. Chuka? Yes, doctor. And uh, Mr. Chuka? Yes, doctor. How will you feel if I tell you that this baby is being fathered by you and not from the vent as you thought? What? Yes, from the record we saw at the hospital, the scan results show that your wife here was one month pregnant.
before the ugly event. I said it. You see. Um, <laughs> doctor, are you very certain of this? I'm, I'm not the one saying it. It's from the record, for your medical record in the hospital. See, um, the first time you had, you were seven weeks gone. If you had gotten pregnant from the rape, it should have been like um, two or three weeks gone. I said it! I said it! I said it! Yes, I'm still dancing. No. <laughs> hey. Um. Mom. Hmm? How did you know that you even wanted to convince me so badly that Obina was your biological grandson? <laughs> Blood, they say, is thicker than water. Then again, I had faith in the supplement I gave you shortly after you announced your pregnancy. Oh, that supplement. My daughter, I, I don't want you to say this as if I'm putting pressure on you. But um, there is this um, supplement I want to introduce to you that women are talking about out there. Okay, um, what supplement is that? Um, the name is um, African Roots. A lot of women have testified about the effectiveness of this supplement when it comes to hormonal imbalance and um, challenges women are going through when it comes to um, conception too. Oh, really? Yes. Ah, uh, Mom, you know that I have tried a lot of herbs. I've done drugs, I've done teas, everything that you can name. And none of them have worked so far and I'm really, really tired of trying new things. But because of you, I would give this one a try. Okay. Uh, thank you. Okay. Um, I'll get it for you. Okay. But you have to do something for me. What's that? You make sure you take it when it's four days to your ovulation. Okay, ma. I will. And you will not stop taking it until you are tested positive. <laughs> okay? Yes, ma. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I did exactly how you instructed me. I calculated my ovulation. I even strategized for a male child. Eh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> eh? To think that we should have lost my handsome grandson to abortion. Thank God for the strong woman my wife is. The instinct of mother made her strong. And um, pregnancy hormones played a greater role. That explains the fury I felt whenever he told me to get rid of the baby. I will be in the living room with my grandson. Hmm? Okay, <laughs> hey, you so. For me, you could me For me, you could me I really can't find the words to express how sorry I am. I failed you. I treated you really badly. I wasn't there for you when you needed me the most. Like I, I, I'm really, really sorry. I'm very sorry. Like I just want to thank you. I want to thank you for being as strong as you were and for giving me a son. 
an idiot like me. He gave me a son. Thank you. How did he go? Lucy and Chicks are back together. Thank God. Yeah. Thank you for that bold step. Um, I am sorry for running faster than my shadows. I. Hey. Oh. Shh. Come here. Come. It's okay. So my son was named in my absence. So I'm going to rename him again. Yes. Mm -hmm. So the purpose of this renaming is not to annul the name given to him by my wife, but it's just to welcome him into my lineage. Okay? To give him his birthright <laughs> as my first son. Yes. Yes. So his name... Ah, Obinaya Chuka Junior Ilumilu. <laughs> My son, Obinaya. And he will grow up to be wiser than his father. Hey, amen. <laughs> of course. He will grow up to be wiser. Yes, he will definitely. Yes. Yeah. Yes, my son. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's excited. I think he likes the name. No, but I think he Ah, come on. Can't you see? <laughs> this. Uh, <laughs> mom, who does he look exactly like? Like, like me, exactly. Ah. Uh, no, yeah, look. Are you seeing the nose? <laughs> Can you see the nose? It's my nose. That's my nose. It's mine. Not for real. But jokes apart, like when I saw the nose. I won't talk. 